got that phone call, it was actually quite a shock. I was on a job site and um, wasn't quite sure what it was going to be about. I thought maybe, to be honest, I thought it was being asked a question about a deck or something like that, because that's usually the calls I get. And when I found out what it was actually for the award, I was, uh, I was shocked, to be honest. And uh, I'm not usually uh, one for the loss of words, but I really didn't know what to say and incredibly appreciative, that's for sure. My life is generally about others, so my family, my kids, my, my co-workers, my, my fellow um, uh, people that were in the course with me. I like giving, I'm not usually a receiver kind of guy, so it was, uh, it was interesting. Uh, my time at Mohawk was uh, it's fantastic. So in a nutshell, amazing. Uh, it was beyond my expectations, and I'm not just saying this because I just won an award and all that good stuff, but it was very, it's very true. When I was in high school, I was not in the trades at all. I was in the, directed towards the maths. So I went to engineering at McMaster University, was my background. Uh, so when I joined Hickory Dickory Dex, and then I insisted I wanted to get into this program, and right off the hop, it was amazing. So my teachers there, Jeff and, and uh, Ralph, were fantastic. They just really opened my eyes to how much it could be a profession and how professional it could be. Um, and also not just with the trade itself, but you know what you could do with that trade in business and in meeting new people um, and broadening your horizon in so many other ways. It just gave me that focus and that drive to, to do something, right? And then to from there, the reciprocation of it all has been to try and get it back to someone else and ignite that fire in someone else. I did start from the beginning, so I was the apprentice. So I was wheeling wheelbarrows and digging holes and putting lumber together and getting muddy and sweaty and all that good stuff. But in the meantime, still realizing that, you know, much like in the trades or building something, you need a good foundation in order to get build a proper building. So I was able to literally go from the ground up all the way up to where I end up to, to today. But, um, and I try and do the same thing with all of our new recruits. And it really comes across with your, when you interact with other trades, uh, with your coworkers and 100% with customers, like with homeowners, because uh, they can, I've done it, I've lived it. So I'm not just, you know, blibber blabbing. I mean, I've actually done it and I can give them proper, honest answers and it works. Mentorship, it's first and foremost in a lot of things that I do. So I'll go backwards a little bit. I do have four children, so there's, not that I'm a mentor, but I am, I'm a dad, which is the ultimate mentor, I guess you could say. Uh, and now I'm a grandpa, so I get to do it even more so. Um, but you know, the mentorship that I received from some of my teachers when I was in high school, and then, you know, the people that I got here at Mohawk College, they were fantastic to me. I mean, there's still that connection there many years later. Um, and I try and do the same thing with all my teams. So we've sponsored numerous people to come through that pro uh, the apprenticeship program, other programs, so the civ uh, technology program here, drafting program here, and other colleges and universities. I just truly enjoy watching people succeed and smile. I love smiling, that's my biggest thing. And, and uh, you know, see people happy and enjoy things and learn and grow. And it's just, it's the best.